What's up everybody? I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I just wanted to get on here and get out a real quick video here. Um, I've done a few of these in the past and people seem to like them, um, but these are my Vim tips of the day. Um, now none of these are anything real groundbreaking. I'm sure most people who use Vim know about these, but if you're new to Vim and you don't, they might help you out. Or even if you aren't new to Vim and you didn't know about them for some reason, uh, maybe you can get a little use out of them. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and go to my Vim RC here. And we are going to jump down, uh, I believe it's line 44, so they're 44J, um, or excuse me, 45. Um, and I have this section right here um, for allowing a crosshair cursor highlighting. Now, why would you want that, you might ask? Um, a lot of people don't want it. Uh, some people do. The reason I have it, and I don't use it all the time, but the reason I have it is because um, you can see I've got my... Um, um, my cursor highlight there, you know, so wherever my cursor goes, I've got the whole line highlighted a different color. Um, well, sometimes that still doesn't help me find my cursor. If I'm in a file that's got a lot going on, and you can kind of see um, right here where my cursor is under that second line of buff enter, um, but I am zoomed in. Sometimes when you're at normal screen size and you're going through this big file, sometimes I tend to lose track of my cursor. If I stop and I go do something else real quick and then I come back um, and I'm like, okay, where's my cursor? And yeah, I can move the cursor back and forth and the line up and down. Um, and so I can see what line I'm on, but sometimes I can't see the cursor. Well, if I go ahead and like I have here, I have high cursor column, C term none, C term BG set to zero. And then I have uh, remapped leader C to set cursor column. So if I'm down here and say I have lost sight of my cursor and where it's at, I can hit leader, which is my spacebar, I can hit leader, C, and now I also have a vertical column, so I can now just kind of track my cursor where uh, where those two lines meet, my vertical and my horizontal background highlighting. So just something that um, I don't like it on all the time because it's kind of an kind of annoying in my opinion to see that thing move every time you type a letter or something like that but uh, so to toggle it back off I can just hit leader C again and it toggles it right back off but that is a huge help to me especially with my old eyes <laughs> the older I get the harder it is for me to see things sometimes and when I'm not zoomed in real far seeing that uh, cursor can sometimes be a pain so again if we just hit leader C we have a nice uh, crosshair there that I can now locate my cursor at a lot easier than if I just have the single highlight so that was one thing I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanted to show you was um, if I jump down 12 lines here. No, that wasn't it. Uh, right there. Almost there. I don't use this very often at all because I'm a dark background kind of guy. I don't like the blinding white. So I'm going to just give you a heads up here real quick. This is going to get bright for a second. But some people like to have light backgrounds at times. Well, what I've got here is I have background set to dark, but then I have a function to toggle the background. So, um, if I have a dark background, so it's telling me if the background is dark, then set background to light, otherwise set background to dark. And so that's just a function that allows me to toggle back and forth. So if I have my uh, remap again, I've got leader BG, and it's gonna call right here, you can see it's gonna call toggle BG, which is this function right here. So if I do leader BG, I now suddenly have a bright background. And I do leader BG again. Sorry if I blinded you there. I gave you a warning, though. <laughs> so um, I can toggle back and forth between uh, light background and dark background. Now, I bet you could probably set this to toggle between themes if you wanted to as well. Um, it's just something that's kind of cool you can do um, function-wise in Vim. Um, just another one of the reasons I really thoroughly enjoy Vim. Um, I am playing around again in Kakoon and a little bit in Helix and Micro. Um, but I gotta say, even though I'm learning them a little better, I'm still loving Vim. So that being said, I hope you can get some use out of this, or if not, you just think it's kind of cool, or if you don't think it's kind of cool and you think, why the heck did you make this video? Then, well, I'd say I apologize to you, but I don't. You could have turned the video off at any time. So <laughs> that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week and God bless.